going on YouTube? Cal Jamin here, here with a quick video of these Air Jordan 15s Black Stealths. Um, dope shoe in my opinion. Let's get right into it, man. You got that nice woven upper. Very, very detailed. Kind of wish that woven upper was uh, leather, but still nice. You got this uh, leather here that is uh, synthetic feels very stiff I think they made these this leather stiff because these uh, shoes tend to crease really bad around here and then on the medial side medial side the same um, you got that anthracite foam plate these actually don't look like the 15s that retroed in in 2007 these look just like the uh, the OG's where this was more gray the, the retro pair was more of a black like a darker anthracite this is light light anthracite you got your laces going up you got your Jumpman tab right there in the tip and the bottom with your ridges rubber ridges you got the booty with the jump man supposedly a lot of people don't like this shoe because of this it's weird I think that's what sets this shoe apart from everybody else it's different um, insert real quick you have a shoe tree cardboard shoe tree with some tissue and you have the 15 logo on the inside the Jordan 15 logo um, stitched on the inside of the footbed. I kind of wish they did that with all the Jordans, man. You know, since Jordans are so fucking expensive, why don't they do that? You know, they they, they put like a, a fucking sticker Jumpman logo. Put a damn stitched Jordan logo on all the damn shoes. You got this Jumpman logo on the tongue. It's supposed to symbolize, uh, you know, it's kind of like paying homage to Michael Jordan when he used to stick his tongue out. He was playing, he, you know what I mean? He'd be in the game or whatever. He'd be zoned into the game. You got the, the midsole, very, very thick rubber. Love it. This, this is one of my favorite parts, man, this back heel part. I thought it was so futuristic, man, with the Jumpman logo in the back. You know, you can only see it from certain angles. I remember when the shoe came out, man. I fell in love with it right away, man. This kid in my class had it. I didn't even know they were coming out. It just, you know, because nobody knew. Like, fuck, is Michael Jordan coming out with a shoe or not? Because the 14s were his last shoe. And then all of a sudden, these shits came out. And I was I was blown away, man. I just loved how it looked. It was, like, it's futuristic. And, uh, and I don't know. It just it has, like, a certain look to it uh, I, that I really like. You know, I like different different style shoes man I you know don't get me wrong I love my retros 1 through 14 but 15 is just one of those shoes yo then you have this uh oh man there's a scratch on mine so, oh look it looks like a big fucking scratch that comes off though it just buff, buffs out but um yeah 23 for his number 6 championships the number 15 and then February 17 for his birthday in varsity red see the bottom the bottom you got the herringbone traction from top to back from front to back and then you have that midsole this shoe is very very comfortable man I remember the OG pairs having this crazy freaking uh, zoom pod in the back and in the front and whenever you step you'd feel it you know um, I haven't tried these on so Later on, when I get home, let's do a comparison video on the 07 pair and this one. The 07 pair that I had is so beat, man. I used to wear that damn shoe every day to work. Um, it's so comfortable. Wow, you can see the you can see the uh, the pores on the leather, man. But this is definitely a synthetic leather. It doesn't really feel leather. It's too it's too hard. Really hard. You know what I mean? Look at that. It doesn't spider web like other leathers. Things, I think it's to prevent creasing, but 
I know this right here creases a lot, man. This I wish this part they made it like the um, like a foam positive material so it wouldn't crease because this shit right here creases like a motherfucker. All this shit right here creases. And it looks hideous. The way to fix that is to put a steam uh, a wet towel over it and to just gently pass a hot iron over it um, and 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 uh, and the foam expands, but. You can do that as many times as you want, man. The creasing will keep coming back no matter what. But if you're trying to get rid of a pair, that's a good way to get rid of them. But there you go, guys. Quick look of the Air Jordan 15. These are dope, man. Uh, a lot of people don't like them. You can't really wear them with a lot of things. People say, I think you can. Um, we're living in, 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 a, in an age where motherfuckers are wearing all types of crazy shit. And I think these will look crazy with some... Uh, with some joggers or some uh, skinny jeans or some side zip jeans or whatever. These are dope, man. Um, I, I always find a way to rock them. And I always got a lot of compliments. For some reason, <clears throat> I kind of think, I kind of know why. But whenever I used to wear these, I used to get uh, people like, Whoa, are, these, are those the new Pradas or something? Like, because of that red stripe. I used to always get people coming up to me. Random people like, are those, the Prada come out with a new shoe? Because of that red stripe, people thought these were Pradas, man. And, and that's another thing that I really liked about this shoe, that, that people, you know, random people always used to come up to me and ask me that. And I don't know, it just felt like a like a dope shoe, like a high-quality luxury sneaker. It felt more like a designer sneaker, like something Raph Simmons would come out with or Prada or something. But that's why I really liked them. But... That's pretty much it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Don't forget to check out my other videos, man. Hit that like button. Help a brother out. I'm just trying to see where this YouTube thing goes. I do it part-time, but hopefully with more more love and, 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 and more reactions and more views, uh, I'll start making more videos. I keep coming back and forth. I don't know whether to stop or to keep going, but um, I decided to make this video for you guys. I ended up walking into the store, and they had them. I really don't understand why the shoe is not that um, popular, man. This is a dope sneaker. It's futuristic. It's modern. It's, it's, it's vintage. I don't know, man. It's something about the shoe that I really, really like. But um, I hope you guys copped your shoes that really wanted these. Um, other than that, you guys stay blessed. Peace.